there are many mysterious photos out there. So from a strange cryptid caught on camera to an eerie apparition, here we have five mysterious photos. Cryptids are mainly plants and animals not recognised by the scientific community, or thought to be extinct but some believe they're still alive today. Cryptids are for the most part creatures of myth and legend, or animals thought to have taken new evolutionary paths, and evolved from previously existing creatures into new variations. Cryptozoology is not recognised as a branch of science by mainstream scientists. Aliens are any living creatures that are not originally from Earth. They could be anything from intelligent life to simple bacteria. However, there was no concrete evidence to support life outside our planet as of now. Scientists had allegedly found in an asteroid what could be Martian bacteria. Many cryptozoological creatures such as the Dover Demon resemble creatures that could be from another planet, while some groups assume others including the Sasquatch and Chupacabra are in fact aliens. This is their explanation for why they're so hard to find. This photo shows what many believe is a cryptid. There isn't much information on this photo so we don't have much to go by. Some have compared the creature to a nightcrawler. The nightcrawler, also known as the Fresno alien, is a cryptid that has made two appearances so far. In both sightings it's only seen in video footage. It appears to be a relatively short creature approximately 4 feet in height. It's an extremely thin white humanoid with no discernible arms. According to certain Native Americans in the surrounding area, the Nightcrawlers have existed on Earth for a considerable amount of time, and come from a planet consisting majorly of swampland. Their long legs are thought to help them manoeuvre through the boggy terrain. To these Native Americans, the Swamp Wild aliens are here on Earth to assist in the awakening, to rebuild the connection between man and nature and subsequently bring peace and harmony to the planet. The two creatures do have similarities, but what do you think it is? Let me know in the comments. A recent find by NASA on the 22nd of December 2016 found a large amount of underground ice, as well as long streaks of damp soil, which means there is water on Mars which was once thought to be dry and uninhabitable. This is significant in that it means that Mars is capable of being the home to microorganisms, and therefore life in general. This is not to suggest there is life on Mars, just that it is now possible there could be. Scientists also found proof of complex forms of organics, the type of which contains carbon the building block of life. Mars Trees and Shrubs David Leonard in an article for Space.com said the following, Grey fuzzy spots appear in the bottom of the ice cover on Mars. By the middle of the first half of spring these spots become darker and bounded and grow in size. By early summer defrosting, the naked dark soil of the dunes is visible, and surrounded by a lighter ring. Year after year, the dark dune spots renew on the same place with almost the same configuration. This repeat action the team asserts strengthens their suggestion of fixed biological causes of spot formation. The Hungarian scientists conclude this strongly suggests the life cycle of some kind of plant life. NASA and its associated research teams don't agree with the conclusion. Their theory is that the dark spots are the result of springtime defrosting processes on Mars, not signs of biology. In the last 30 years or so, the triangle-shaped UFO has become topic of much discussion. Often reported as flying low and running silent with several lights on the bottom, these strange objects have become an enigma in the UFO circles. Sightings of these objects often come in waves, and they are reported as being able to go from a crawl to a high-speed departure in a matter of seconds. Many feel that the Triangle UFO may be a top-secret government craft, still in the experimental stage, and more than likely designed with military implications. Some researchers feel they're the next steps in the stealth series of craft, capable of flying low and making their exit without being detected by enemy radar. This type of craft would be indispensable for enemy surveillance, especially with weapon capabilities. This photo was sent to me by one of my subscribers. She attached this photo and said the following. 
I had a small telescope and was trying to get some good views of the moon. I also had a night vision camera with a 3x magnifier on a tripod, with a video camera attached to it and a set of night vision goggles. I usually have the goggles with me if it's a clear night out. There were no clouds that night. I was looking through the goggles and noticed a plane coming towards me from the north. It was relatively low, 5,000 feet or a little less, but when it got closer the craft was in the shape of a triangle. There were three lights on the object. I have seen planes and helicopters through night vision goggles and you can hear planes at 5,000, 15,000 and 20,000 feet. This thing was low and silent. The last weird thing that I noticed was when I took the goggles down for a second to get a bearing as to where it was in the sky. I couldn't see any of the lights. The craft was invisible to the naked eye. So what do you think it was that she was seeing? Let me know in the comments. In the southern part of the Russian region of remote fridges and untamed cold known as Siberia lies a lake unlike any other on Earth. Lying nestled within the rugged Siberian wilderness is the enormous Lake Baikal, the deepest and most ancient lake on the planet, and so renowned for its beauty that it's sometimes referred to as the Pearl of Russia. It's a majestic place not only remarkable for its deep water, but also for its deep mysteries. Lake Baikal has long been the epicenter for a wide variety of weird happenings and high strangeness. Large mysterious lake monsters are not the only things said to haunt Lake Baikal. The area has long been known for its UFO related weirdness as well. There have long been numerous reports of strange lights and alleged alien spacecraft over the lake, but perhaps the most interesting stories come from declassified Soviet era documents compiled of unexplained incidents by the Russian Navy. Although the documents are not completely focused on UFOs or even the lake in particular, the two make regular appearances and the documents mention numerous UFO related incidents and sightings around Lake Baikal nevertheless. Late in April 2009, astronauts aboard the International Space Station observed a strange circular area of thin ice in the southern end of Lake Baikal. While the origin of the circles is unknown, NASA suggests the peculiar pattern is upwelling in the lake's water column, but there are those that think this object shows something completely different. In East London stands the most famous pub in Jack the Ripper history, the Ten Bells. Constructed in 1752, the Ten Bell was where several of the victims of Jack the Ripper drank, most notably Catherine Eddowes and Mary Kelly. The pub has changed very little since the early hours of November the 9th, 1888, when Mary Kelly, Jack the Ripper's final victim, left the pub. Her body was discovered the next morning in Miller's Court of Dorset Street on the opposite side of the road from the Ten Bells. During the 1970s and 80s the pub was renamed by the landlord as Jack the Ripper. The brewery reverted it back to its original name in 1989. In the late 1990s live-in staff whose bedrooms were on the upper floors of the pub were complaining of alarming encounters with the ghost of an old man dressed in Victorian clothing. Staff reported they would often be awoken in the early hours of the morning to find the phantom form of the old man lying beside them on the bed. As soon as they would cry out in shock, the ghostly figure would vanish. Staff with no previous knowledge of this ghost would often report seeing him, and their descriptions would always be the same. A tenant who lived on the premises in 2001 would often hear phantom footsteps followed by the faint sound of laughter outside his door. This happened when he was the only one on the premises. When going down the stairs to the bar, he would often be pushed hard on the back by invisible hands. Several times this resulted in him ending up in a heap at the bottom of the stairs. A psychic was brought into the pub to see what she could pick up. Upon reaching the top floor, she paused outside one of the rooms and refused to go any further. She said that she could sense that something terrible had happened in that room and was almost certain that it involved the death of a baby in the 19th century. Lindsay Civita, a leading researcher and expert on the Jack the Ripper crimes, was being shown around the pub a few years later and had been allowed access to the roof space. She noticed some material embedded in the floor behind the water tank, and pulling at it found it was a sack tied at the top. 
Opening it, she found it contained a mouldy set of Victorian baby clothes that appeared to have been slashed with a knife. Intriguingly, the tank was directly over the room that the psychic had refused to enter. This photo was taken by a visitor and appears to show the apparition of a ghost. The witness stated the woman definitely wasn't there when the photo was taken. So that was 5 mysterious photos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.